Welcome to Stogie Palace. I'm your host, Chris. Today I am smoking a Sonorial by Jose Blanco. This is the five and a quarter by 52 called the Paco Robusto. Mm, it's got a nice sweet flavor to it. Mm, nice smell to that too. To me, that almost reminds me of um, San Andreas type, but it's not, it's Ecuador Habano. But just the sweetness there and the almost cocoa type of flavor there. I'm pretty sure that's gonna, it's not gonna be that way on the light. I'm, I'm betting it's gonna be peppery. Mainly because last night I went to a event, Jose Blanco blending event, which is really more of like a tasting event. And he had, pretty sure what he told us was one of these, I'm not gonna try to spoil it, by the way. Uh, one of these cigars, but with four different wrappers on it. And it was terrific. I, if he's coming to your area, you should uh, go check it out. You won't regret it. I believe he said yesterday this is medium full on his website. It says it's a full body, but maybe it's medium full in strength. Mm, nice aroma and pretty smooth right off the bat. I did a V cut on here, and the draw is right now getting a little too much air for the amount of smoke I'm getting, but it's, I'm sure. Air. Like most cigars, it'll probably start improving here quickly. Um, hard to say uh, exactly what the price is on this because the event I went to is twenty-five dollars, and uh, you get three of these, three different sizes, plus that special cigar. So you know, figuring that out, maybe six twenty-five. But then again, uh, the seminar, his time there, and the interaction with the with us was is worth some money too. So. Uh, so like I said, the wrapper is Ecuador Habano. The binder is from Esteli, Nicaragua. The filler is Dominican Piloto Cubano and Dominican Corojo. Hmm, nice flavors. Be interesting to see how much strength this one has because the special cigar at the event, it felt medium full plus, almost full strength as far as strength, nicotine. Be interesting to see how this one is with the one continuous wrapper, which is like what it is for most cigars. It's just so different smoking a cigar with multiple wrappers. I know they sell the kind that are barber pulled, but this one had rings of different wrappers on it. Very, very nice aroma. Well, I'm liking it so far, so I'll tell you a little bit more about it as we move our way down. About 20 minutes into this scenario. Look at that. Nice looking tight ash there. Good burn line. The draw has tightened up exactly where it needs to be. Smooth flavors. I expected out of a Habano something a little more spicy, but it's not, and that's that's fine. This is more um, for a Habano, this is more creamy, which is surprising. I, I've had a few Habanos and Part of the reason why I was able to guess the wrapper on this one before I knew at this event is because I had a uh, Edge Habano, Rocky Patel Edge Habano recently, and the Habano just reminded me of that and I was able to pick it out. Nice smoke output. There was a little peppery, a little dryness, but a little pepperiness there tickling on the throat. Let's see how that waft is. Peppery, nice though. This is this reminds me borderline of a couple things really. Um, it reminds me of Corojo for some reason, but um, the cold draw, like I said, reminded me of San Andreas and the, the wrapper smelled it too. But it's it's it, once you light it, like I thought that the, the, there's really I don't sense a whole lot of cocoa in there. 
but I don't know. Let's try a retro hail. Maybe I'll pick it up there. Hmm. Get a little citrus there, maybe. Getting to actually kind of a short finish, but it's nice though. I, the, it said I, on his website, I believe. Matter of fact, I'll read that right now. It says from the maker, uh, it's lascumbrestobacco.com. This is a full bodied and truly full flavored cigar. The flavors are rich and complex throughout the smoke with some spice and hint of sweetness. The cigar has a rich and pleasant aroma and ends with a good long finish. The cigar gets 90 days of aging. Um, and that website is Los Cumbres, C-U-M-B-R-E-S, Tobacco, which is T-A-B-A-C-O. Los Cumbres Tobacco means the summits of tobacco. And that's Jose Blanco's company there. He said that this tobacco all comes from their farms, which includes uh, Hochi Blanco, his cousin. I'm sure you may have heard that name, whose real name is also Jose Blanco, by the way, but nickname is Hochi. Um, Look at that. Nice, thick smoke. This is good. I like it. Not getting any bitterness. No weird, harsh aftertaste. Smooth. And I, I don't say creamy very often because a lot of times creamy to me is associated with Connecticut. And um, not a fan of Connecticut. Um, so I didn't really know what creamy was because to me, Connecticut tastes grassy, bitter, way too mild, just just none of the things I like. I'll tell you what, that event, the cigar event, uh, cemented in my mind what it is I like and don't like in wrappers. Because like I said, it had a wrapper with, uh, a cigar with four different wrappers on it, varying types too. And it looked different colors, you can tell. They're uh, darker, lighter, darker, darker, or whatever. And, um, but once we found out what they were, and I won't, again, spoil it, um, it just cemented in my mind what I, what I like and what I don't like, but more importantly, the thing that was really shocking to me was there's 20 different people in that room giving off 15 different opinions about the same exact wrapper. So that was that was kind of that proves how subjective cigars can be. Totally a matter of opinion, and it was so weird when I had a feeling I knew which one of them one of one of it was, and the uh, the traits are uh, kind of a sweetness and earthiness, and I was hearing people say complete opposite, as if they were smoking a completely different wrapper, but they weren't. He was keeping an eye on wherever he was progressing in the cigar. I'm liking it. He said that uh, one thing he definitely uh, is interested in is complexity changes, so it's not the same from front to back. So we'll see if that happens here. I assume it, it should, because that's what he was aiming for. Seems to know what he's doing and what he's talking about. So let's keep going. About 45 minutes into this scenario. So, um, the ash was so impressive that I was trying to get some good pictures of it because it was hanging on for so long. And as you may know, uh, a long ash will help keep the cherry cool, the smoke cool, and you don't want to be in a hurry to just keep tapping it off. But, excuse me, the um, ash fell off, one big chunk, and the cigar went out. It's like that. Surprised. That might have been a transition there with, and this happens all the time with lots of cigars, where the middle third is usually a slower burner of, a, of tobacco on the inside, uh, usually a little sweeter and, and smoother. Usually there's some bite in the first third and then some bite again in the last third, and that middle part usually is not as big of a smoker. I'm picking up slightly different flavor. Of course, the problem when the ash falls off like that and you have to relight is that uh, if you're not careful, and most of the time this is the case, no matter how good the cigar is, uh, the heat from that light, that relight, will give you a little bitterness, a little harshness, and that did happen. I'm not really sure why it went out. I mean, I really maybe it got so cool because of that long ash, it was just too cool. 
and it's humid out here today for a change although it's the same humidity 64 percent same as 65 percent i keep all my cigars in my humidifier so this is a rarity it's also 60 degrees out here but it's also it's a rarity though to have humidity this high naturally in, in colorado it's just been so damp and rainy and now we're about to get a half foot of snow in middle of may In the retro there getting a little bit different flavor I can't tell you what it is maybe a little bit of sweetness a little bit of spice but not like a pepper spice not that kind of tingly spice more of a, a cooking spice I'm kind of getting there can't say But it's back to burning real well. Perfect draw. Burn line has just been flawless. It's a nice smoking cigar. Let's keep on going. About an hour into this scenario. I must say, Habano is not usually in my top four or five wrappers to uh, seek out when I'm buying a cigar. I uh, really like San Andreas, Corojo, I'm finding out I like Sumatran too, uh, Cameroon is, is kind of a hit and miss sometimes, I really like it sometimes, eh. but uh, I must say this is definitely one of the nicer Habano wrappers I've ever had. Um, maybe the others I've tried just are just uh, maybe not fermented long enough, I don't know. Um, sometimes they're just too spicy or maybe a little bit of harshness in there, but this one is smooth. Definitely liking it. Um, I'm just about at the band point, which I just took off this band. Really nice looking band too. Let's see how well we can get that on there. Handmade, Dominican Republic, Sonorio. The problem with some, with some of the, and this didn't, it was, turned, turned out to be a problem, but it looks like when this is on the cigar that there's, there's, uh, there's kind of curves in there. So it's kind of hard to pick out where the spot is to start uh, peeling it off, but it turns out it wasn't an issue. It all came off. Really nice. He took a little bit, a little piece of wrapper with it. And I doubt that it's so small and just a little circle of a piece. Doesn't like it, look like it's going to cause an issue. Um, I will notice the ash in this middle third is a little more flaky on the edges. Um, that's okay. I mean, one of my favorite cigars is San Lucia Luchador is, is kind of flaky all the way from begin to end. You don't get a big long ash like that, but the, the flavor is so worth it, it doesn't matter. Just gotta be careful not to get ash on you. This is nice and smooth. I, again, what comes to mind is, is, is creamy, which isn't really a flavor, <clears throat> but um, it, it's what comes to mind. And what else did I say about this? Um, oh, the aroma, outstanding, loving this aroma. Uh, draw on the smoke output, great. I did get, just for a few puffs there, I did get a longer finish and it was it was kind of a cedar type, but it didn't last very long. Just, just a little area through there, but I'm liking this. Starting to feel a little bit of the strength, but Nothing like the one I smoked last night that was supposedly same innards but different wrapper. Mmm. And that retro, picking up some other stuff in there. Just not good enough yet to tell you what they all are. Don't know if I ever will be. I've had uh, major sinus surgery in the past. Lots of problems in there. All gone now, but it always makes me wonder if I've, if some damage was done to my flavor receptors up there. But I, I, I can, I can sense a difference. I just can't tell you what it is. So there, there you have it. But anyway, loving this thing so far for sure. Let's keep going. Hour and a half in. <clears throat> uh, I had to relight it again. It's the same thing that happened. A big chunk fell off leading into the final third. 
and it wasn't completely out, but it was, looks like it was on the verge of it, so I had to do a quick relight. Flavors are really nice. This is clearly the, uh, and I looked over all the Habanos <clears throat> that I've smoked. A couple of them are Habano Hoscuros, but um, this definitely is the highest rated Habano cigar I've smoked. And I've had a few, I, I, more than I thought when I looked back at the other reviews I've done. Really nice flavors. The burn line is just phenomenal. And if you notice, see that really thin little black line where the burn line is sometimes called the mascara line I've heard. Uh, what I've heard is that the thinner that line the better the curing or aging or fermenting of the wrapper so it can't be any better than that. Um, as far as strength goes it I felt a little bit it never really um, got all that strong as far as the nicotine so that's a, that's good I like that. Smoke output Great, draw, perfect. It's a really nice cigar. I keep coming back to that creamy type of flavor. Definitely more that I would smoke, so it rates, it's in that level of rating where I draw the line of like, would I buy more or wouldn't I buy more? Would I go look for something else instead? But this falls high enough to where I would definitely would want more. Luckily I do have a couple more and one of them's thinner, so should have less filler and binder and more wrapper the ratio so that one probably the corona that should even be better probably this is probably going to last me an hour and 45 minutes and i don't smoke all that slow i just don't want to smoke too fast and this got brought up in the uh, seminar one guy said that a typical robusto like this he can go through in 15 to 25 minutes which is just blistering and even uh, Jose Blanco said, yeah, that's, that's way too fast. He said about an hour. I don't know, it's pretty rare for me to get through a, a Robusto in an hour. Hour and a half is just about right. And I set aside the time for it. Don't wanna rush it. So yeah, I had a hard time deciding where to rate this one. It really deserves like a 95 and a half, but I don't rate in halves. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a 96. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, which puts it one slight peg above the Opus X, believe it or not. Really nice cigar. Smooth and creamy. I'm liking it, for sure. May have to bust out my Havana Saver to get the last little bit of this out of there. Matter of fact, once again, since I'm here, since you're here, let's do it. See how much more I can get out of this thing. Like I said, this thing is its worth it because it'll give you a little bit more uh, time in smoking it. So you just pop it in there. Oops, doesn't want to go in there very well. Come on, I don't want to tear up the cigar in the process. There you go. So this has been the Sonorial by Jose Blanco. This is the Paco Robusto. Not even warm yet, that far down. No warmth at all, so that's good. So I could probably get some more time out of this. And once again, he said spice and a hint of sweetness. That's probably, that's right about on rich and pleasant aroma for sure. The aroma is definitely one of the high spots of it. As far as flavor transitions, they were very subtle. They were there, but they were subtle. So thanks for watching. It's Chris Stogie Palace with the Sonorial and my Havana Saver. I'll see you later.